first of all, thanks for everyone to hopping on this and uh, and being here and covering us. We we appreciate that. Uh, obviously, <clears throat> couldn't do it without you getting our branding out there and everything. Uh, so we really appreciate that. But no, spring ball has been exciting. It's gone well. I think the kids have worked, or young men have worked extremely hard. Uh, they, they've changed their best every single day. I, I think when you looked at where we were uh, to where we are now, I told them that just today they should be extremely proud uh, of the work that they put into this and the momentum that they started with our program moving forward. Uh, you know, we lost a lot of players, a lot of good players uh, live from last year's football team. And what I have saw is guys have kind of taken uh, the role of, of, of working up to the to the new standard of our football program and taking advantage of the new opportunities that they do have, uh, which makes me really excited as a coach. Uh, my message to them was a little bit is don't stop this train right now as we go into summer. Uh, take a little time off to to get your body healed, to, to get your mind right, to take your academics, and then really come back uh, in June 1, we'll come back, come back ready to roll and to pick up where we left off and, and really get this team game ready uh, throughout the summer and, and the fall. And I told him, I said, when I got here, uh, it was a coach-led team. And I see right now what you're seeing is it's transitioning to a player-led team. And I always say bad teams, nobody leads. Average teams, coaches lead. Elite teams, players lead. And uh, those guys are starting to take 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 uh, take shape to that. So excited about the future and excited about where we are. And uh, we still got some battles that are that are that are going on with, with some position groups. But it's really good to see. And competitive brings out the best in all football teams. So excited about where we are and where we're going. Let's open up some questions. Let's start here with Jake Castillo. Yeah, Jacob. Uh, just what has it been like transitioning into coaching roles, or and maybe more of your plays that you wanted? I think really just was that. Yeah, I, you know, it's definitely more of your play. I remember PJ when I left Minnesota, he told me, he goes, "Just, just know now that it's, it's no longer just football." <laughs> and and I didn't know what he meant by that, but now I do. Uh, you're just you're a lot. You're pulled away a lot from football, and you're handling academics, marketing. Uh, you know branding, all that stuff, recruiting. There's so many more elements to that your that your hands are on right now. So that's the biggest thing for me. I'm a ball coach at heart, so I like being in the room with the offensive staff, watching football, you know, talking, throwing ideas off each other and getting better from that standpoint. And what I've learned is I've been pulled away from a lot of that stuff, handling other things that that make our program better. Uh, it's not a bad thing. It's just different, you know, and, I, and I'm kind of embracing it and I'm getting my own niche with it and, and finding out how I can make it all work together and fit. But uh, I love this role. I love Kent State, and I, I love the transition. It's been it's been great. The one thing I'll say about this institution, it's got great people, uh, from our our other head coaches to our administration to the community. Uh, this this place is special, in my opinion, and I think it needs a football program that embodies that. And that's what the Kent Grit's all about is, is about the people and how we do things and our edge that we have here as a community, as an athletic department, and as a football team. But it's been a great transition. I'm excited about the future and where this program's going. Is it for position groups that have been any, anything that's really stood out to you or really surprised you so far? We are very talented on the back end and with our defensive backs. Uh, I've been very impressed with that room. Um, that's one group that I didn't know what to expect coming in. Uh, but we've had some really talented young players really step up. I think Josh Bacher's had a heck of a spring. Uh, Alex Branch has had a heck of a spring. Um, I, I think there's there's a lot of players. Jelani Williams, who came in, is has gotten better. Dallas, who's, who's been out a little bit with injury, but he's come back and transfer. So it's been a great mix in that room of guys who are transfers in our current roster. That, that's been really good. I think we've got two uh, lockdown corners, in my opinion, and, and DJ Miller and Capone. Uh, so I, I'm really excited about our back end and, and, the, and the growth they've made. And uh, that, that group's definitely surprised me uh, from how fast they've gotten better. Uh, and then uh, obviously we've got a very good uh, running back room, extremely talented with X coming back. Uh, Gavin's done a great job. And then we added Kai Thomas to the mix as well. So it, it's a very talented group. And uh, I'm excited about those two groups for sure. And then the other ones, they're really good, but there's just positional battles still going on. You know, we don't know exactly who the starter is going to be. But what, what I've been impressed in, and credit to Coach Lewis and the staff, they've recruited really well with, with their younger guys. You know, our registered freshman group is a very talented group. And they're going to be good. And they're going to be baptism by fire a little bit this year. Uh, but the future looks bright from that standpoint. And then... When it comes to spring game, you know, it's you honoring uh, head coaches. So what is the importance of bringing back alumni to establish connections? Sure. You know, I think sometimes what you see in programs is that you, you new head coaches come in and they have a hard time engaging the past. And I wanted to get creative in ways to engage the past. You know, uh, Coach, Coach Jules comes in and replaces Coach Haynes. Then you got Coach uh, Doug Martin. You got Daryl. You got all these different coaches. And they're all got kind of got their regime of guys, right? And my thing was, how do I connect them all? So by bringing these guys back from the honorary game, hopefully 
their, their generation will, will know that, okay, there's, this is an open door and this is, we're all one family. We're all connected uh, with, with unity and arms. Uh, so locked. So I'm excited about it. You know, Rosie is a, is going to be an interesting character in this too. I'm excited about having him. I think he, he's, he's going to find that he might be a, a pretty good coach and it's a little bit harder maybe than he thought. Uh, but no, these are two guys that are, that are great ambassadors for our program. And I'm excited that when I offered it to him, they came back and, uh, they, we split our coaching staff right in half. We got team gold and team blue. It's going to be competitive. Uh, and I know the guys, we revealed the teams today to our, to our current players. They're excited. You know, the smack talking's already started. And it's going to be unique. There's going to be some things without the game that is engaging to our fans and and getting people involved and, and stuff like that. But, no, it's it's a it's a great first flash bowl. And then lastly, for me, just for you, what is the importance of spring game? What do you want to get out of it? Really, what do you think fans can yeah, you know, the spring game for me, it's it's really putting all the work that you've done the last 14 practices and letting it show on display. Uh, guys, like I said, have had some, there's been some great performances this spring. I think we've gotten better in areas that we talk about in our football, the ball, you know, protecting the ball, not giving it away on offense and protecting them or going and getting it on defense. Uh, those are things that's like program goals that I want to see in the spring game. You know, our, we, we've held our hat, uh, hung our hat on uh, playing different. And what we mean by different is our house got to be better than our opponents. I mean, how we do things has got to be really on display. We play with an edge and we play competitive football. Uh, we call them swarming to the ball on defense and really being the reason on offense, being the reason why it's an explosive play. Uh, so I want to see all that stuff on display. And uh, the guys, like I said, they've worked hard at doing that. So now is their time to show their fans what, what this new brand of Kent State football looks like and what Kent grit really means, because uh, it's a grit is how we play and how we do things. There's a couple questions from uh, our media constituents. You mentioned that you wanted your team to be player led. Has there been a, a couple of players or player in general that you've really seen kind of elevate sure. through that challenge? Yeah, I, I think when you look at guys like CJ West, I think he's one of the, the main leaders of our football team in a whole. Uh, I think when you look at uh, DJ Miller, he's a guy who's definitely one of our leaders. Uh, and I think those guys have, have definitely stood out as leaders of our football team. Uh, and I'm really excited about them. I think Matt Harmon's done a great job uh, leading as well. So those are guys that, and there's more, that have stuck out in spring ball. And, and they're doing a great job leading this football team. We need more, though. And I told them that, like, we need more guys leading this football team. But not just what you say, but how you're doing it. You know, going about your business the right way, doing the extra stuff off the field. Uh, to get guys better. You know, we call it unrequired work. There's required work that we do every single day. Then there's unrequired work. And the unrequired work is what this team is. And that's where the players come in. They, they lead that unrequired work and make sure that we do it on a daily basis. Have you seen any of the new guys, whether they be the, the freshmen that have come in for, for spring ball or some of the transfers, kind of rise up and beat that tank grid standard already? Yeah, there's been a couple. I think Jelani Williams, for sure, has come. He's transferred from Missouri. I've been really impressed with him. Uh, Devin Nicholson, another transfer from Missouri. Those guys have come in and done a great job. Uh, I'm really excited about what they're going to give to our football program. And what they've done up to this point has been really, really impressive. Uh, you know, Dallas uh, from Iowa, he, he's done a great job as well. I think what you've seen is that these guys have been at programs that have had success and they know what it looks like. Uh, and they come here and they're bringing that, that, uh, that, those characteristics to our football program, which is really, really exciting. Well, let's turn it over to our, our virtual contingent here and uh, Tom Evans. Tom, any questions for Coach? Coach, uh, I think that, you know, the, the sexy question is talk to us about the quarterback uh, <laughs> uh, competition. You know, yeah. I, I'll get to the meat and potatoes after that. I'm an old line guy, but let's talk about quarterbacks first, Coach. Sure. Uh, you know, it's been a competitive spring for those guys. You know, we've had two scrimmages and we've made them live. Uh, and we've, we've, we've tackled the quarterback and let those guys use their feet as their, as their advantage. And I think that there's a lot of guys that have done some really good stuff. I think, you know, you look at, at Tommy. Tommy's done had a great spring, in my opinion. He's gotten better. Uh, he's a kid who, who played last year as a young young player, and he's done a great job. And, and then obviously you got Devin, who's played as well, who's done a great job as well uh, this spring. I think they both bring different different things to it. I think the battle's still ongoing. I don't think it's going to be answered this spring. I think we're going to it's going to lead all the way in the fall camp a little bit. But both of those guys have, have done a really good job. And then you got Grip as well, who I've been extremely impressed with his knowledge of the game. He is very very smart. He knows in and out. He knows the system in and out. He was limited this spring a little bit due to injury. Uh, but he's back healthy this summer, and I'm looking forward to him joining the group and being a part of that quarterback battle as well. And then Chandler's done a good job, too. Chandler's come in and done some good stuff as well. So I, I don't think anyone's ran away with it. You know, Jaron, the transfer from, from Kansas State also, he's another one done a really good job, extremely athletic, uh, done a good job protecting the ball and using his feet to get us out of some trouble in, during spring ball. But I'll say this, it's, it's an ongoing, ongoing battle. 
And I think the spring game is going to be a good another test for those guys. They're going to be leading their team. No coaches on the field. See how their moxie shows up and how they how they lead a team down the field and lead an offense. Uh, you know, as we go into the spring game, but it's an ongoing battle. I wish I had more for you. It's not done. I can tell you that we are not naming the starter anytime soon. Uh, those guys got to work this this off season, and then middle middle of fall camp, you'll see me release to who the starter is going to be. Good stuff. Uh, o line, you know that. It, We've seen uh, uh, two years ago, uh, maybe eight different guys rotated in out. Last year was probably five or six. Uh, and and you come back with uh, guys with very few snaps this year on the O line, and we know how important the continuity of that offensive group line group is. Talk to us about how they've come along, people stepping up there. I know there's some transfers in there, but uh, how's the progress there? It, it's been good. You know, I, I've been really, I think, blessed that O line with the coach Matt Limegrover. Uh, Matt Limegrover has been around a lot of places. He was at Penn State. Uh, and had some success there. He was at Minnesota as the offensive line coach and had success there. He's been in Northern Illinois in this league and won conference championships coaching the O-line. Uh, so it, it's a veteran coach who's walked in there who's seen a lot. And he's been able to really take our younger players and, and really get them through the spring of how to get better, how to take it on, and really how to grow up fast. And, and that's been encouraging. I think they're still finding the rhythm a little bit. We, we moved a lot of guys around some different positions to, to see which ones work uh, and trying to find who are the best five. I think I'm coming out of spring, though, very excited about the offensive line and about the growth that they made. Uh, like you said, it's a very young group. We lost all five guys. Uh, so there's 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 a lot of young players playing. Then you got Rumler, who's the older guy in there, leading kind of the group. And uh, what I've seen, though, is from practice one to practice 14, a group that is a lot tougher than they were when they first when I first got here. They, they are a tough, nasty group of guys, and they are playing that way right now. I, I would say the biggest – a growth on our football team was probably our own line from the start to finish. And uh, I'm excited about that group. We're going to add some more pieces to it, probably through the transfer portal, uh, to be honest, to give us some depth. Uh, but our young players are are, gonna, are are really exciting. They're going to make the future really bright. So really uh, proud of Coach Langover and what he's done, but then help those guys follow in his lead and, and getting better. And uh, how physical are we going to get Saturday night? You know, the different coaches go about it different ways, and uh, um, you're just going to let them – pin their ears back a little bit and get after each other? Or are we going to do – how how physical are we going to get Saturday night, Coach? Well, I'll say this. Our spring ma mantra has been tough, and we talked about being tough. We, we said we got to be a tougher football team. When I watched every game over the past two years, I, I said that the one thing that was lacking, in my opinion, was a consistent toughness. Uh, and to me, toughness isn't just lining up and hitting people. It's about mentally being able to respond to when adversity hits in a game, mentally being able to move on to the next play, and play the next play as hard as I possibly can, as mentally engaged as I possibly can. And so we've done a lot of tackling, probably more than these guys have ever done. Uh, it's been live, a lot of practices. We've had some tackling drills and circuits where these guys have done a lot of hitting. Uh, so the spring game will be no different. <laughs> it is a football game. So there'll be officials, we'll be tackling, uh, we'll be advancing the ball. It'll be it'll be a game. And they want that. And that's what I've, what I've noticed about this team is they want to play physical football. And we can play fast, fast, or flash fast and still be physical while we're doing it. So uh, that's what we're going to do. And Saturday, you'll see that on display. Great stuff. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. And we'll turn things over to the voice of the Golden Flashes football team, Rob Polinsky. Rob, any questions for Coach? Hey, thanks, Dan. Coach, uh, welcome to Kent State again. Um, was kind of curious, uh, uh, special team wise. Uh, what have you thought? Obviously, you know you return your your punter and and Andrew Glass, your your field goal kicker. How how the special teams look through spring? Uh, I would say the special teams exceeded my expectation. Uh, they're they're really good. I put them in some pressure situations throughout the spring and and just putting them to to say hey, we're going to condition if you make this kick or we're not going to. And and uh, they've they've done a great job with it. Uh, obviously glass is, he's an excellent kicker and, and uh, he's a guy that I'm going to rely on a lot. Uh, I, I coach the kickers myself, so <laughs> I take pride in what they do and how they do it, but, uh, they've done a great job and they've worked extremely hard and we've gotten better. And I think they understand well, one thing we put a big emphasis on this spring is situational football, uh, understanding different situations and how you can control them as a football team. And I think they, they understand how they fit that, you know, how I can, you know, when I'm backed up, flip the field and with the punt. You know, how I can uh, be able to hit a field goal and, and make me allow me to to, to kick it uh, where, where I can be aggressive with our field goal kickers. So they've done a great job just with that. And, and I'm really excited about our special teams. And like I said, those are some of my best leaders, in my opinion, of our football team. And uh, I, I think their voice has been heard with our football team. And they take their role really, really seriously, which is great. 
uh, it seemed like you don't have a lot of healthy bodies on the offensive line right now, you know, during spring practice. And like you said, you're going to be trying to add some. Uh, does that make you take a little different approach for Saturday uh, as far as how you're going to play uh, no, the spring game? I'm not. Uh, so the offensive line, they're, they're going to be in white and they're going to be the neutral. They're going to play on both sides of the, of the, of the team. So uh, we're still going to play football. They've been doing it all spring. So they are used to it and they want that. They, they want to play and I'm going to let them play. Uh, we've got, you know, got nine guys, I believe it is, that can go out there and play right now. So we're just a little bit short, but we'll rotate them as we go. And they're kind of the, the neutral, the neutral part of our spring game. Uh, so play for both teams. And I, I was making a joke with our team. I said, hey, no line. They can sabotage this thing if you want them to, guys. So I'd be really nice to them right now. I said, but on the flip side, I told you, line, the great thing about this is you win no matter what. You're, you you win. So you'll be a part of the, the team, the winning team's dinner. we got a kind of a, a, a championship dinner for the winning team. So uh, it, it'll be it'll be really special. It'll be fun. I, I told these guys just today when we broke, I said, you guys have worked so hard. Uh, and I couldn't ask for a better football team when it comes to work, how, how they went about their business. Uh, Saturday for you. And that's I truly believe that's for the players to have some fun, to to get after each other, to enjoy it. Uh, it's their game, and uh, I want them to enjoy the moment. And they they they're excited about playing the game. It's not something we've done here before, but as long as I'm the head coach here, which is hopefully a long time, uh, we'll always have the flashbulb and we'll play this 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 golden blue game. So it'll be great. With some of the receivers that left, obviously, you know, Cephas and Tez, uh, if you had uh, some of you know, maybe one or two guys that have, have stood out in your mind that have, have made some progress this spring? Yeah, I'd say both. And the great thing about it is, is there's one older guy, Luke Burns, did a great job to me being a slot receiver. He, he's done a phenomenal job uh, of getting better and leading the group. And then two young guys, Dash Dorsey uh, has been great. Uh, he's, a, he's a freshman who just got here. And uh, he's a young guy who I've been extremely impressed with. He's definitely going to play this year. Uh, he's extremely talented, extremely fast. Uh, I think he's a playmaker. He's a guy that we put a little bit inside and outside. And uh, I've just been really impressed with his knowledge of the of the game. You know, earlier I talked about unrequired work, being able to go on your own and learn some stuff, you know, outside the time that I can have with them. And I'd say Dash has taken that and ran with it. And his knowledge of football in just a short period of time has been outstanding. Uh, then Ali Fisher, he's another one who transferred over from Buffalo. Uh, he, he's a just a really good player. He's I call him Mr. Consistent. He's always consistent. He's always consistent playing hard, always consistently catching the ball. He's not the fastest guy, not the biggest guy, but he's reliable. And he does a great job of just doing what we're asking him to do. So I would say those three guys have stood out in that room for sure. Well, thanks. This will be my last one. And it, it may not be a fair question, but it's not the first unfair question I've asked. Um, you know, with the transfer portal continuing and how hard has it made your job when you're in your first year, you've got some guys that start out in spring and then they're not here now, yeah. you know, it, it, do you see that changing Is college football going to have to do something about that or is, as far as when these guys are allowed to come in and out and how much difficult, more difficult is your job because of that coming uh, in your first year, you, you've had guys leave the spring. Sure. You know, I think the transfer portal, it, it's not going anywhere. Uh, and I told our coaches that you got to embrace it. And that's what we've done. We, we talked about two things, being creative and positive with it, uh, being better, not bitter, and, and then just being us. You know, we know who we are. We can't grit. We know what it looks like. We know what the characteristics that players have to have to be it. So we're, we're going to go look for that. And we're not going to get bitter when guys leave. We'll just find a way to be better coaches and, and make them want to stay more. So, and, and then, you know, when adversity hits, let's just be creative and positive. Just find ways to be creative in the portal and how we use it. And then stay positive. Uh, you know, there's a lot of players going in, but there's also a lot of players we can get from the portal, which is the other side of this thing. And uh, I think you just got to embrace it and go with it. I think the NCAA, you're going to see them put more rules and regulations with it in the times that guys can hop in and hop out. Uh, but to me, it works both ways. And there, there's yeah, guys can leave here and go to other places, but also we can get we can fill some of our holes quicker. You know, that's the other side as a new head coach. I can go in the portal and see after the spring exactly what we need and really go attack it. And I think we got a good thing to offer here. We've got a great college town, great community, great university. Uh, it's it's a place that's built on experience. So if guys want to come and have an elite experience, they can come to Kent State and have that. So we're selling that. And there's been guys that are gravitating to it. You'll see some guys here in the near future that that hopefully commit to us and come here that are really good players and, and help us fill some of the holes that we have. But I'm excited about the team we have. And I keep telling our coaches, coach the guys that are here. <laughs> the guys that are here that want to be coached, coach them as hard as, they, as we can. And let them know you care about them, you love them, you're committed to them, and you believe in them. And uh, we do that. Hopefully, we'll, it'll lead to wins and a good product on the field.
Thank you, Coach, and see you Saturday. Thank you. See you. Ken, great. Appreciate you guys. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys. We'll see you Saturday. You got Thanks, it. Thanks, Ken. Pretty good.